everybody. Today I have a really cool combination for you here. This is a home-built teardrop camper from the 1930s and the car is a 1940 Buick. So I'm going to show you the inside of the car and then we're going to give you a tour of the camper. So here's the car. This is from Limestone, Tennessee. There's the dashboard. Look at the lighter and the ashtray. There's the old AM radio. It is a stick shift. And then back here is the back seat. Really cool car. Headliner's in good shape. I don't know if that's original, but it might be. All right, and then here is the camper. And this is Ed, and Whoa. he's gonna show us his camper and tell us the story. So, Tell me first the history of how you came to have the camper. I was born in Cody, Wyoming. And my sister and I were born up there. Dad was working up there. And he got a job at Knoxville, Tennessee, T Tennessee Valley Authority, and found this trailer for sale. Bought it in 1951. A hunter from Wyoming uh, built this trailer back in the 30s. And he bought it at 51, and we drove, he helped move us to Tennessee, uh, pulled it with the 38 Plymouth. So it wasn't pulled with this car originally? Uh, I'm sorry, no, no. Okay, look at that old folding cot there. All right, so let me get this up here. I wanted to show that, the old pot holders and towels. So, do you sleep in this when you camp, or I will is it tonight. just for yes. show? Okay. I will tonight. And that table folds up. Table folds up. And it closes up over closes where up the, the canned the goods are. Right. right. Okay. So, that gives you the floor space. So, I want you to take notice of that old mixer down there. And then up there is an old waffle iron. My now, family used what, a waffle iron when I was growing up. So, what things in here belong to your family? Um, everything. So all of the appliances the and appliances, everything. Is, Tell the me stove about the stove. came out of the attic of, of, of our, my home. Okay. And we never used it on camping. We, we, uh, but the, the waffle iron we used as a kid is probably my, my mother's parents' waffle iron. The, uh, mixer came out of the attic. Never saw it used. And is that your... Boy Scout Canteen yes, up uh, there. Boy Scout Canteen. Okay. And the, the video skillets. And how comfortable is the bed? That's pretty good. And you have it's storage been years underneath it. it. I can tell you more after tonight. Okay. <laughs> we'll check back. And over here is more storage. And look at the old light. And the curtains he thinks are original. The curtains were there from the time I remember. There's the fabric. All right, Ed. So we're gonna look around the outside. Well, this is a vintage um, ice chest. This is an ice chest which looks like a trunk. It says economy it's like refrigerator. Let's it's see. got some stuff in it, but does it hold ice good? I just I don't not using it as an ice chest now. And what do you put in the middle? What I does guess that it's cold open water up? or ice? Ice ice cold water go in the middle. Okay. And then place the stuff on both sides. That's cool. This was this was on a early on the running board of an early Buick that my mother's first cousin in Baltimore parents had. The ice chest was. The ice chest yeah. was on a okay. early Buick on the running board and she she wanted me to have it. Because she knew I was into um, into some old stuff with this old camper and all. Yeah, it fits perfect. And he's not sure what these are here. So there's some of these. There's one there, one there, and then there are more up top. So we were thinking that this might be like to put a shelf on, and then down here would be for a table to cook on. And then it has these things that he's not sure what those are for either. There's two of those. So if you have any knowledge of this, let me know. And then this is the back. And it says, I may be slow, but I'm ahead of you. I painted that on when I was a kid. That one has a trunk. Okay. Trunk. Also, 
this door opens. Oh. And store tele, um, fishing poles. Cane fishing poles. How cool. It runs the whole length of the trailer. Huh, that's cool. So you put these long cane telephone poles in. Mm-hmm. You need to get you some of them and put them on the outside for display. Anyway. Now, is this the original paint and canvas on the top? Except for this. Okay. It's in good shape for being that old. It's been inside most of, the, most of its life, recent life. Oh, so it's been like garage kept. Right okay. Garage, right. Yeah. Well, there it is, everybody. Thank you, Ed. You're welcome. Thanks for it's showing a, it to us. Happy camping. All right, everybody, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. And we will see you on the next camper video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell, and then you'll get an email when I post a new video. Bye.